Today I'm eating Romanian street food for 24 hours and I'm excited because it's one of the best and cheapest street foods in the world. It's breakfast time here in Bucharest, Romania, our first stop since deciding to travel full time. And we're going to Luca, a beloved Romanian chain that sells the big pretzel you see everywhere. And we bought a ton of food and it was only 9 lei, which is $1.90. Wow, okay, this place is next level. Like all the goods there were something like 30 cents to 50 cents. They come in these super cool bags the quality looks absolutely amazing on the food itself and it's warm no wonder it's a very very famous chain. there were so many people lining up for breakfast and then doing exactly what we're about to do posting up somewhere and eating the food in the street we have this massive pretzel that's maybe the most famous snack of Bucharest Romania this one is the typical one with poppy seeds and you can also see that there's big chunks of salt all around it it's a really thin pretzel so I think it's gonna be really crunchy Oh yum. Mm. That takes pretzels to a completely new level. So rating Bobby? Get out of here. This is a very filling breakfast food, very cheap and also really good. I'm gonna give it a 9. So next up we have this round donut which is still warm and looks so good with a bunch of cheese on top and it's really golden yellow and super crispy. Mmm, mm. there's like a fried cheese on the bottom. This is so good. I think after trying this, I have to downgrade the pretzel to a seven because this is so much better. And also I know we're gonna get to one of the best street food places for all of Bucharest mm. later in the video. And maybe even of the world. It's one of the most really? famous street food stands ever. Unbelievable. Can I tell you more? But so excited, <laughs> so excited to see. <laughs> we're not downgrading anything on my side. I'm gonna <laughs> stick with the eight for the pretzel. This is a nine. And next up we have what is often called the Romanian hot dog. <laughs> That's <laughs> and, amazing. But instead of a sausage, here you have some ham and cheese. Basically, this ham and cheese is surrounded by bread dough and then baked. Also on holidays and weekends, it's packed. Um, and they also said on the summer, it's also very packed. It's nice. There's cafes and restaurants all around as well. walking around and came to this small market um, and he is selling right at the front some different Romanian desserts and sweet snacks and that one is so cool it it does it does immediately yeah of my childhood ah some of the desserts my mother used to make it when when we were a child so awesome I really want you to try it okay and it does it does remind you as soon as you look at it like a salami and it is actually called a biscuit salami biscuit salami what a name Oh, it's kind of like a dense chocolate cake, but like biscuity. It's like bread with chocolate all the way inside. Mm. It's good. I, I, it, yeah, it's really not too sweet. It's kind of like a chocolate bread. This is a cool market. Very friendly. There's like souvenirs, but also Romanian food and Romanian food products and food utensils. And so we came across uh, they're selling cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. We walked now to an iconic bridge that it's actually it's not over a river, it just overpasses the road. But a photo modeling shoot is taking place behind us. But you do kind of have a perspective. You see the church, the steeple. You see that. Um, the clock tower from the main square from this whole area and then it's all overlooking an overpass of the of the road We're stopping for a quick coffee in the the main public square <laughs> Coffee, much needed coffee from here. We're gonna climb to the top and get a view over the the central area of Old Town Cebu. All right. Oh, so there's no fee or anything. You just go up. Yeah. Cool. Come up the circular ancient staircase. Very medieval. Very cool. Okay. Okay. Then you do pay a fee once you get to the first floor. It's a watchtower of the gate of Cebu. So it's like a lookout, lookout, medieval lookout tower. Yeah. 
Yes. Oh. We made it to the top. Ah, uh, wasn't too, too bad, but you do, you do get a little workout if you just take it straight. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice views all over the city from here. Wow. With a thick foundation of cheese on the bottom. You got the sweetness of the beet, a bit of like crunch on there, and the, the sunflower seeds. Main courses have arrived. This one is the lamb, right? Yeah, this one is the lamb, and this is quite, quite artful plating. That's a huge plate, actually. Uh, some pieces of lamb. There's some kind of a, a vegetable medley on the bottom, and some kind of a, a black paste on the bottom. Start with a piece of the lamb. There's some greens, lots of vegetables. I'm not sure what is that paste, but I will have some. Paste is kind of like smoky tasting. It's kind of bitter and smoky. And then the next dish that we got is a trout dish. And it looks like it's been seared off. There's some um, some vegetables on the bottom and then some kind of a sauce with that green oil. So I will take a piece of the, oh, that fish looks fantastic. Um, well, it kind of just crumbles all into the bottom there. So you almost you need a spoon actually. It's like a dill oil, maybe. Mm. Yeah, the fish is good, and it's kind of like a cream dill flavor to the whole dish. I see Miss is about to feed me this. <laughs> what it is? Oh, whoa. <laughs> Bring it back. It's like, a poop. <laughs> it's like a poop of lamb. Oh, that's lamb. No, definitely a lamb ball. From here, also, that we wanted to taste some of the traditional uh, Romanian food from Cebu. So, we're gonna go to another restaurant just to have a few more dishes, uh, which is right in the old town here. downstairs, a flight of stairs into the basement, and it's kind of like a cellar restaurant. This is cool. Very cool. With cheese and sour cream. It's cool in So two types of polenta? Yes. Okay. This is only the cold salt and water, and the other okay. one I told you is with extra sour cream and okay. cheese. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Do you want a separate place for that? Is what? Separate place for that. Oh, that's okay. We got a couple dishes to share, but we've already eaten some, so we didn't order a huge feast, but some other special dishes. And this is exactly my type of food. I love the presentation, the traditional style, the recipes. Um, to begin with, I got a soup, which they called on the menu, they called it the peasant soup, which is a mix of vegetables. There's carrots, there's, I think there's noodles in here as well. No, no, those are peas. Um, and then some peppers, and then it just looks like a simple, just wonderful vegetable medley. That's just simple, that's vegetables, good vegetables. The sweetness of the carrots, the crunch of the cabbage, the peas in there. These are beautiful cabbage rolls, Transylvanian cabbage rolls with a big chunk of pork on the side. Um, cut it. Oh, oh, it's so tender. That's just slice, you don't need a knife, just a spoon. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, I love cabbage rolls. On the menu it said stuffed with meat, I think it might be pork. Oh, uh -huh. What I like is that it's thick layers of cabbage, a lot of cabbage, with a, I mean that layer of meat on the inside, and then you taste the pepper. It's like a sweet, actually, black pepper, but like fruity tasting black pepper, like whole peppercorns in there. Oh man, and that just like juices, the cabbage juices and the meat juices are just completely combined and just mingled. Those are spectacular, really extraordinarily good. And just don't take like a half a cabbage roll in your mouth at one time when it's right out of the, the kitchen. Mm -hmm. The final dish we got here, this is a, a shepherd's stew with lamb and I believe peppers and onions and polenta. And that polenta is cooked with sour cream and cheese and it's rich and hearty. This looks delicious as well.
and yeah, that combination, you need a bit of everything on one bite. It's like meat and steaks though. So any of our really long-term followers will already know that we love Mexican food. It's probably our absolute favorite food on the planet. Uh, we haven't really had any, or not very much in the last couple months, so this is especially exciting. When I was doing my research, I came across this place. It's called Duma's Van, and it's like a Tex-Mex kind of place, so it's a little bit of mix of Tex-Mex and Mexican. But we ended up getting some pork tacos. They are done in corn tortillas. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, did they ever look good. Let's give this a go. It looks like it's gonna be messy. That's <coughs> so good and spicy. It's actually not spicy at first, and it's like, ooh, coming on now after I swallowed everything. And I think it's gonna get uh, more intense <laughs> as I talk, so let's hope I can make it through. The tortilla is really, really good. Um, it's uh, a little bit soft and a little bit crunchy at the same time. The pork is nice and tender. Yeah, uh, there's sauce on top, and I can't tell the difference between the sauce in the pork and the sauce on top, but something's really sweet. Um, but then you have the really, really spicy contrast, so yeah, it's uh, quite delicious. I don't know how authentic it is, but it doesn't really matter. It's really good. You know how excited I am right now? I know Anna said, like, we haven't tried Mexican, or had Mexican, I should say, in a very long time, but, um, oh man, it smells oh, like my favorite thing already, so let's give it a go. I got Anna's other half, and I didn't take my head, if you happen to be wondering. That is spicy. Oh, that is really coming from there. You said that. Ooh. Pork, like Anna said, super tender. And you cannot eat a corn tortilla. I don't care what anybody says. If you get tacos, it has to be corn tortillas. And one of the tricks, believe it or not, but a good taco that's especially like Mexican taco, authentic taco, um, there's no cheese. And I don't think there's any cheese on this at all. It's just really good, but the very predominant flavor is that spice level. All right, so uh, I'm feeling pretty full, and the video, well, we might have to end it right now. I uh, know, I actually have a big list of foods, and we gotta get through them, so Jeez. suck it up. You got, you got much beef, and these are pork. I believe Michi translates to something like like little smalls. It's kind of a fun thing to say, but uh, I watched them cooking back there, and it's on the grill, and it just looks like it's uh, glistening. It's very smoky, and it smells delicious in here, for the record. So we also have some yellow uh, sauce, but I'm gonna assume that's some mustard. But before I try that, I'm just gonna try the beef on its own. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> Wow, the flavor of that packs. This is beautiful, beautiful taste. Wow, that just hits you like right, oh. The flavor just comes right at you. That is the beef, and it's cooked slowly. It took a little while for this to come out, but there's some charred, uh, charred marks on there as well. And it gives that little, um, that, that little burnt taste, and we always say that, we just love it. Now let's see what it's like with some mustard, because I, don't, I can't even imagine how this could be better. But I assume if there's some sauce, wow, there's still steam coming off that. I don't know if the camera's gonna pick that up. But uh, let's try it with some of that mustard sauce. Oh, wow. Oh, that's just divine. Oh, that rounds it out. Oh, that's perfect. So now here we are. We have this delicious, delicious meat, uh, beef in this case, and then you pair it with this mustard. What a combo it makes. It's just very savory, and there's some spices in there as well. And just, you know, when you cook it slow like that, you can't beat it. This is delicious, and there's a pork one, and I'm gonna try to convince Anna to try the pork one over here in just a moment. Ooh, wow, it's a lot of juice coming out of there. I'm not sure if Trevor mentioned that these are actually a Romanian dish. Um, and they asked us as we ordered, or they suggested actually, that we should get some Romanian cheese with it. And I thought maybe that it would be stuffed with the cheese, but the cheese is on the side. So I'm just gonna add it, kind of chew it, and then dip it in that mustard. 